Hello, hello everyone, welcome to UQ Design. I'm Janine and in today's tutorial I show you um, how to create a um, purple valley LUT or um, pink valley LUT so that your the green that you see right here um, is purple and I see I have to uh, request about this tutorial and I see a lot of uh, these um, filters in um, Instagram and really want to know how it uh, works so that you can recreate uh, this one right here and we use Photoshop for that and we I think we are pretty close uh, in this tutorial and we want to make sure that we avoid some mistakes when you're creating the LUT or when you upload to the LUT and link it so that you avoid some thing like this and um, to make sure that we have not too much oily um, parts in our lot but uh, in this case it's uh, not so easy to avoid uh, this uh, parts because we really erase all the yellow and all the green um, colors in our um, tutorial so let's start with that okay let's start with this tutorial uh, we start with the um, filter in Photoshop so we create uh, the purple or pink valley um, um, filter in Photoshop but I show you just uh, right now um, this is uh, the setting uh, where we um, put our LUT into later. This is uh, the neutral LUT right now and um, I created a color LUT um, for the background and um, also I created a retouching so we see how it um, works on retouching and so on. And if you want to know how you uh, create uh, this uh, patch setting, please watch this video right, uh, right now or maybe later. As demo, a demo for my um, creation, I used an uh, image of myself, a screenshot of uh, this from this camera with uh, this um, plant. <laughs> so we have, um, we can, uh, we use uh, this image to we create uh, the green and purple and also make sure that uh, my skin is not too purple too. And I upload uh, this video right here. The, from uh, this video I created also a screenshot. So let's start with Photoshop. And this is our LUT later, what we want to use. And we start with uh, this um, green park or green valley, I call it just valley. And go select uh, the um, selective color, go to green, add this one and yellow and want to make sure that yes my skin tone is okay this is okay at first and we go to the setter and go to yellow purple also green purple blusher no and I want to make sure that the clipping is not too much. Just look at this one and go to red. This one right here. And select the yellow. And you see it's right now it's a little bit clipping. I don't over want to overdo it, but well it's like you put out all the greens and all the yellow so the clipping uh, will be seen a little bit. 
color clipping at all. Oh, we will see the clipping a little bit. Okay, that's <laughs> I just want to make sure it's a little bit more pinkish. So just like that. And the green is I think okay. And well let's test this one with our neutral LUT. This is a neutral LUT. We see before in our Sparky Art tutorial. And I want to show you, I just want to um, create a PNG of it. Uh, this is the purple LUT um, 512, 512. This is uh, the size of uh, the LUT. And this is, an, of course, a PNG. And of course, the largest size. And what happened? I want to show you um, what happened when you use a very small image. So just make it um, 70, 72 pixel. Whoop. And add this one to our material two PNG. Yeah, large. <laughs> and now let's add uh, the materials to our textures. Perfect. Leave that. And I show you what happens when you use a very small um, LUT image or LUT PNG and you see it's kind of interesting of course but um, this is what happens when you really um, use the wrong um, size so please make sure that the size is 512 and maybe more but the most LUTs I found and neutral LUTs are 512 so make sure you, you, your um, LUT won't be um, is in, a, in the highest uh, possible quality. And you see it's way better. You can also make sure that the manual compression is of uh, no compression and there is a small filtering uh, sample. I don't know why I say small. Uh, sampling filtering and go to none. So it's maybe better too because uh, higher it's clipping. Um, but you see it's a little bit oily and that's why because um, I think there's a, we have no green in our filter but it's pretty close to what we pr um, make, uh, what we um, create in Photoshop. Um, I will show you the other example right here. And of course, uh, the lighting here in my um, studio <laughs> is not so good also. Um, also not so good, whatever. Um, but uh, you see, it's pretty, pretty close to what we want to uh, achieve in our tutorial. Um, we really work with the hue and stature and with uh, the selective color. And look a little bit uh, on the histogram. So that is uh, that the this uh, highest, uh, maybe if not to peak right uh, up here. So that's is, that's the reason. I think the reason why um, you have this oily touch. Um, same right here, of course. Uh, this one right here, and you see it right here, but. Um, for this extreme example, I think um, it's uh, okay and it really depends on uh, the light uh, you have in your um, room when you have not enough light or too much light. Uh, when you have too much light, like in this case, it becomes also oily. But thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, wait. I really, really appreciate it. And yes. 
Uh, we will see you next time, hopefully. And uh, when you like this tutorial, please uh, leave me a like. And when you new, uh, have a friend who wants to see this tutorial, please uh, send him a link and share this tutorial with every, everyone um, that really supports my channel. And uh, thank you so much for this uh, great ideas and great, great uh, questions, you, questions you have about um, Spark AR and of course when you have any questions right now <laughs> please leave me a message and uh, or leave me a DM via Instagram at Kino Design. Um, thank you again for watching I really appreciate it enjoy the process and bye bye